This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the CEO of Cotech Holdings, Mr. Julian Traeger. Julian, it's great to have you back on. How are you today, sir? Great. Thank you for having me on today. It's much. Well, listen, let's get right to it. We talked briefly off air. There is clearly a critical metals cold war going on in Cotex. Kotech is really, really smartly positioning itself to take advantage of it. It's a very unique business model. It's a very unique story. You know it better than most. It's probably not a coincidence that you own as many shares as you do. But I wanted to have you back on to talk about where we are with this Cold War that's materializing. Not so much behind the scenes anymore because it's 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 pretty open now as far as tariffs and actually seeing it in the market. What are your, your thoughts yeah. on what's developing there? Well, I think uh, it is uh, absolutely now a high profile item. I think you know the Chinese uh, had the uh, arena pretty much themselves for a long time. So they established a dominant position in many minerals. And then we had this, uh, you know, pricing collapse in the minerals, which they own lots of, like uh, nickel or lithium, or at least they control the supply chain. Uh, and I think that uh, was going to drive down the cost of batteries, and then in turn, has been driving down the cost of electric vehicles. And I think when it came to, you know, endangering the whole US uh, vehicle manufacturing sector, I think the politicians really sat up and, you know, took note. And so we're now starting to see a fight back. Um, and as you say, uh, we are pretty well positioned for this because we've been focusing not on the commodities which China um, really can control the pricing of, other than rare earths. And rare earths is such a specific and special uh, category that um, the West has to provide its own, its own rare earths. And these tariffs are actually going to really benefit our um, U.S. Uh, magnet recycling rare earth business uh, when they come in because it will make the margins much higher. So I think we're well positioned to benefit from this, but it is, um, you know, a, a part of the, the potential Cold War between the East and the West that's, that's certainly, uh, you know, unfolding before our eyes. Well, listen, it's not just rare earths either, right? We clearly are seeing a bifurcation in the market with supply deficits that are materializing across the commodity space. We have copper at all time highs. We have gold at all time highs. And I know that Kotech is really focusing on being right in the sweet spot of the cycle, right? To take advantage of the most profitable years. And I can't stress that enough to listeners. There's a lot of companies that you know, copper makes new highs and, and you have 100 new copper companies come out exploring for a deposit. But by the time they discover something, if they discover something, they've missed the profitable part of the cycle. And Kotech is the complete opposite of that. You're positioned perfectly. Can you speak to how yeah. you plan to take advantage of these deficits and these record high prices that we're seeing across the board? Well, absolutely. I mean, our model, rather than you know relying upon a new mine, which can take up to 20 years to come into production, our business model is to focus really on um, a lot of recycling, a lot of uh, brown earth uh, reopenings. We're not going to go into the development business. We're going to be able to produce revenues within you know three to five years, which is at warp speed relative to the way the industry has been developing historically. And we've chosen the sectors so far, which are the ones which we think are important uh, for the energy transition and also for the um, independence of the Western supply chain. So we are in copper and we're um, you know, developing a, a green copper division. Uh, we are in uh, green uh, steel inputs, which I think is going to be super important uh, for the U.S. and there's already a premium developing in the U.S. markets vis-a-vis the rest of the world. And, and as we've talked about, we are in um, also in uh, the rare earth magnet space, which um, you know we would hope to be our first source of revenues um, coming online in like two years from now. So I think um, we'll we'll be able to uh, be more real time relatively 
to other models in the in the mining sector that obviously we can't uh, pivot on the uh, in, in, in a moment. Um, but I think the areas that we're focusing on um, are super interesting because there's an increasing recognition, particularly in Washington, um, that you know recycling uh, waste are the areas where there's a lot of material, um, and uh, this is a way in which the supply uh, gap can be plugged uh, in, in the short term. So it can really help uh, the West in this in this battle um, to increase its uh, self-sufficiency. And we're looking at other uh, technologies which can help us, again, unlock other areas. The next potential technologies we're looking at are ways in which we can use um, the waste that is sort of very fine material, which can't be used at the moment, uh, to extract metals, but also a way in which we can uh, use very hard materials, which are very uh, difficult to uh, unlock, and the grinding of that uh, uses a lot of energy. We've got a new technology which can potentially unlock that more easily as well. So it's super exciting, and I think it's very much part of uh, you know the way in which this whole sector is evolving. You recently closed a financing, I believe it was to the tune of roughly $3 million. Can you speak to your personal holdings? Because I think it's important. I'm really, really big on, you know, having skin in the game and, and, and eat, cook, cooking what you eat, right? And eating what you cook. And you most definitely do that, sir. How is the personal holdings for Kotec and how much does management own? Well, I've, I'm trying to increase my holding to the maximum that I can <laughs> with the... Uh, with, um, with the visibility that we have in terms of what we've already created, and we'll hopefully see some of that being uh, unveiled in the coming quarters. You know, I think the business is worth a multiple of um, what it's currently trading at. Um, and so I, you know, put up a $2 million as part of the last round, and I would continue to support the business. I think my shareholdings now, um, you know, around 40 42%. Um, when I got involved with Kotec, I didn't own any shares. Um, so I'm continuing to uh, build my, my position um, together with the other board members. I think we have 60%. So every time we um, spend a dollar, we're spending 60 cents of our money. We're very careful about that. But we're also supremely confident that what we're doing is creating huge amounts of value um, you know, we will shortly uh, be creating a new division called um, Kotec uh, Green Iron. Um, and, um, you know, we see lots of strategic investors, not so much retail investors who don't yet appreciate what we're achieving, but uh, strategic investors very interested in, in what we are, are on, the, on the road to, uh, to creating. I'm excited for the rest of the year. I'd like to point out that the recent financing was priced at 50 cents. The stock trades for 49 cents right now. You can buy it for you know a penny less than what uh, Julian just recently uh, paid. It's one of the most fascinating um, speculations in the space because of the uniqueness of the model. And I'm really looking forward to seeing y'all execute here over the coming quarters and years. Julian, anything to add to that? No, no, I think I think I share your excitement. I think um, you know we we are super ambitious, as you'll see from our board. Uh, we aim to create a multi-billion-dollar business over the next decade, and it can be done. Um, you know, we've got a track record of of, uh, of creating you know several billion dollars of value in the natural resources sector. We've generally made six times our cost. That's our track record, and um, you know we think we can do the same here. So. Um, Yes, absolutely. Let's see the coming announcements. And thank you for uh, circling back with me and getting an update. Well said, sir. Thank you so much. Appreciate the time. Me too. Thank you so much. All the best. Cheers. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. Gerardo Del Real here. If you're enjoying the content that you just saw, you can let us know in three simple steps. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button and please share across your network and on social media. Take care, everybody.